Hello dear students and once again welcome back to this online class video. This is the second part of the chapter 1 building with bricks of class 4 subject mathematics. And before starting the video I request to the all viewers to like and subscribe my channel and I am Jay Prakash. Let's start the class. At first we will know about the topics that we will cover today. So the first topic is Jali pattern, the second is Jaruka pattern, third is arc pattern and in the fourth topic we will also know about the size of a brick. Now come to the first topic which is looking through a brick jali. Let's have it. The masons who built Jagriti's school had also made different jali patterns on the wall. Yes, in the previous video we knew that uh, there were three masons who built Jagriti's school. Okay, and also we saw some very beautiful floor patterns and now here these three masons are also made many different jali patterns for Jagriti's school. Here you can see in the picture. Some beautiful jali patterns are here in these two photos. Here is a question. How many different jali patterns can you see in these two photos? Okay, let's count the number of jali patterns in these two photos. Now let's start the counting of jali patterns on the top. So on the top you can see two similar jali patterns. Okay so we will count it one. Now here it is different so it will be our second and this one and this is also same. So this two will be our third jali pattern. and. This third number jali pattern is also similar to this pattern in the second photo. Okay, so this is our third jali pattern. Now it is fourth number and it is now fifth number. So total we found five jali patterns in these two photos. Now in the next page, this is a drawing of another beautiful jali. Here you can see on the your screen. Now color some bricks red and make your own jali patterns in the wall drawn below. So it is your activity you will do it in your paperwork. So draw some jali patterns as you like. Now can you see the window means jharokha in this photo of the school. So here after flow pattern we saw jali pattern and now we are looking for Jharokha pattern. Okay, we will name this pattern as Jharokha pattern. Such a beautiful Jharokha pattern is here. Now, draw some Jharokha patterns on the wall here. You can shade it black. Okay, let me try to make a Jharokha pattern. I am not good in drawing, but I am trying. So, okay, now I have draw a Jharokha and trying to color in pink so you can see I am drawing and now it's completely colored okay so try it at your home my dear students oh it's not good now next here in the next page some other jolly patterns are here and let's have a reading of it this jolly is from a library building in Kerala. Okay, so these two jali patterns are the patterns of a library building which is in the yes Kerala and Kerala is a state of India. Okay, now do you know in which direction Kerala is located in the, on the map of India? Yes, tell me in east side, west side, north or south side. Confused? Okay, let me help you. On the screen, you have the political map of India. Now you will try to search that where is Kerala. Try to search. This is east side, west, north and this is south side. So where is Kerala? Did you find that? Yes. On the south side here, you have Kerala state. Did you find it? Nice. Now come to the lesson. See the sorry, see how the age of a bricks 
is used to make a triangle in the wall yes here you can see the walls okay and one is zoomed one picture is zoom here and you can see it is in the shape of a triangle and where you see this type of shapes yes in the chabutras of surrounding of a plant here you can see have you seen bricks that look like triangles look at the bricks around the tree in this photo here you can see many uh, bricks are shaped in triangular and now do you see the arc in this photo this is from a school in faizabad okay now after jharoka pattern we have arc pattern this type of shape is known as arc okay so it is name as arc pattern okay now next find out look for other arcs around you and draw them now you will tell me that uh, in your daily lives in your surroundings area uh, where you see this type of arcs yes in the rainbow yes in the bridges and yes in the many other things now in this photo you have arc pattern and also you have jali patterns now in the next page have you seen arcs in a bridge yes we have seen where else have you seen an arc yes we have answered this question before some time that uh, in the rainbow we see bridges we see arc patterns and here above the road we have a bridge and its shape is like a like an arc now a special arc okay we have studied about arc pattern now here we are studying about a special arc okay let's know what is this in this photo from orcha see how the arc is made it has a nice name that is ghungat wali mehra the arc with well okay well means ghungat in hindi you see and here is that the special arc that is named ghungat wali mehra such a beautiful arc pattern you are looking here and some jali patterns and jharoka patterns are here now isn't the jali of this window beautiful yes very beautiful you can see here it is made of thin bricks have you ever seen thin bricks look around you yes we also have seen thin bricks which are used to make jali and jharokas patterns now jamal and kalu yes who are these yes these are the two masons who built jagriti school remember this the masons of jagriti school here it is clear said that their grandfathers used many different kinds of bricks some of these are shown in this photo so here you can see first second third and fourth these are the thin bricks which of these bricks have curved edges yes you have to find bricks with curved edges so try to find my dear students it has no it is not it's also not here yes in this two photo here you will see the curved shapes okay well done so you will write that two bricks are in the shape of curved edges now how many faces do you see of the longest brick okay if you will take uh, this thin brick okay as the longest brick so you will see how many faces of its one and two and if you are able to see this one so you can count as third number okay as similar you are looking that for this brick you are looking one two and three three faces now is there any brick which has uh, which has more than six faces no there is no brick which has more than six faces actually the number of faces in a brick is yes there are total six faces okay now and our last topic is find out the size of a brick here is a very interesting activity i have done at my home this have you seen bricks 
of different sizes yes all bricks are different now take one brick and measure it how long is it how wide is it how high is it okay i want to tell you that there was a brick at my home and i measured it so i found its length as 20 centimeter then its breadth as 10 centimeter and its height as 7 centimeter so i can write 20 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 7 centimeter here it is 20 is defining as its length 10 is defining as its breadth and 7 is defining as its height so i can write 20 by 10 by 7 centimeter this is the measurement of a brick which i measured at my home now here is a question Munia wants to make a wall 1 meter long remember it 1 meter how many bricks will she need to put in a line okay so i will take for uh, this measurement for this solution okay and here you can see that 20 10 and 7 is in centimeter and here the length of a wall is in meter that is 1 meter so i have to convert this 1 meter in centimeter and as you know that 1 meter is 100 centimeter okay now the length of the wall is in centimeter and the measurement of the brick is also in centimeter but here we have two condition what type of condition that if the wall is 1 meter means 100 centimeter okay this is the length of the wall okay let's name this a b clear and now uh, we have the measurement of uh, brick that is 20 by 10 by 7 okay now if you will put this brick as its lengthwise like this okay if you are putting the bricks by its length clear and many so you have to take its length as 20 centimeter clear 20 then it will be 20 it will be also 20 it will be also 20 you are uh, putting this uh, bricks by according its length okay so how many bricks the question was that how many bricks are needed to make this line okay so my dear students here is a trick that i want to show you uh, tell you that if in the question in a word problem the question is saying that find the number of any object okay find the number of here in the question that that is saying that find the number of bricks okay so generally it is division remember this because in your next chapters you will face this type of many word problems and there are many questions that will say that find the number of this thing find the number of that things so in that condition just you will divide okay and here we will we have we are going to divide this now the length of the uh, uh, wall was uh, 100 centimeter 1 centimeter 1 meter means 100 centimeter and the length of the brick is 20 centimeter so now we will divide what 100 yes 100 we will divide by 20 okay so what you will get if you will divide 100 divide by 20 so you will get 5 so to complete the length of to complete the length of the wall we need 5 bricks okay but in which condition if we are putting the bricks by its length okay now in the second way if the wall is 1 meter long means 100 centimeter that is given by the book okay and we are putting the bricks by its breadth okay like this so now how many bricks we are need to complete this line so here we have to take its yes breadth okay so what was its breadth that i measured that was 10 okay so the breadth of the brick was 10 centimeter so now how many bricks are needed to complete this line yes as i have told that here the question is saying that find the number of bricks so generally i will divide so 100 divided by 10 is equal to 10 10 to 100 it means 10 bricks are needed to complete this line so in these two uh, different ways we solve this question okay so once again i repeat this 
that in which condition means in which way you are putting the brick that is important if you are putting by according its breadth wise so your answer will be different that is 10 okay as i have taken the um, uh, breadth of the brick as 10 cm and if you are taking the if you are putting the bricks according its length so your answer will be different so there are two different ways to solve this question so finally we solved this question and so that's all for today's class my dear students see you in the next video till then stay at home be healthy and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel bye bye see you